New York Public Library was officially founded in 1895. We consist of research collections. We also have an extensive branch library system that serves Manhattan, the Bronx, and Staten Island. Because we are a public library, we make those collections as widely available as we possibly can, and digitization is one of the ways that we are able to do that. The Library Services Center in Long Island City is a processing facility maintained by the New York Public Library. In this building, we uh, do all the processing work for both our research and our circulating collections. We've got six total workstations. All of them are equipped with phase one camera backs and digital transitions equipment. We have three P45 Pluses, a P65 Plus, and an IQ180, as well as the BC100 book scanner, where we're using also the RCAM cameras, as well as the P40 Plus uh, backs. Our output could range anywhere from 10 shots in a day, if it's really difficult, like large format panoramic material uh, or Japanese scrolls, for example, that are extremely time consuming where we would have to have a specialist come and handle that material. So it could range anywhere from on the low end to potentially 10 shots up, upwards of, you know, 500 shots in a day, depending on the material type. This is a French translation of the lives of Ruth. It's incredibly beautifully bound. I think the publication date is late 19th century. Uh, it's held in New York Public Library's Spencer Collection, uh, which is a collection that's really focused on the history of printing and, and the art of printing and binding of, of the written word. You can get great resolution uh, with a flatbed scanner, but um, the image quality is not quite the same. And color control is not the same. Um, speed is not the same. Um, I spent a lot of time uploading and downloading files and moving from one software to another. Uh, we've kind of streamlined that process down to cropping and processing straight from Capture One and that being it. Um, capture being as quick as you can pop the flash and that kind of changed everything around here. Preservation quality for me means that we are creating the closest digital surrogate as we possibly can to the original physical object. So we want to be able to capture that at the highest sampling rate, preferably 400 ppi or greater. And we want to be able to ensure that we're capturing the uh, full color spectrum of the material uh, from the paper tone to, to the various pigments that are within a particular object. We are working towards becoming uh, FAGI four-star compliant so that we can have the closest match to our uh, originals as possible. You know, not only for uh, future reproduction purposes internally, but also externally. A big part of that is for just preservation quality so we can reduce the uh, handling of those uh, originals. Anything that has no rights restrictions, we make freely available to the public. We have what we call a digital collections site. It's a portal on our main website, and all of the images that we're producing here in the digital imaging unit are being made available freely to the public via that online portal. We're sort of, as an institution, dedicated to serving New York City, but when we digitize something, that makes that collection, that material, available to the entire world.